to my channel. So I know last week I did not put a video out. I am so sorry. I was busy working on another initiative that I'm going to announce to you guys soon. All right. So this week, what I'm going to try to do is get three videos out so I can catch you guys up on everything that I've been working on. In this video, I want to focus on this baby shower that I decorated this past weekend. It was a teddy bear themed baby shower and I just loved how all the decorations came out. But as you guys know, there's always something that comes up with my events. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so I can let you guys know what happened and how to avoid it. All right. So let's get started.
So that was the baby shower. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? My client just loved the decorations and I love those colors. I think it's perfect for a teddy bear themed baby shower and also the fall, right? Because the fall weather is starting to come in. Now, just like I mentioned earlier in this video, there is always something that comes up with all of my events. So let me tell you what happened. So with this baby shower, I reached out to my client and I asked her, was there going to be anybody else in the room when I was going to be decorating, right? I wanted to know, was there any other vendors? Was anybody else providing any other decorations, right? I wanted to know what I was walking into. Because a lot of times what happens is, if I'm the only person that's there decorating and setting up, when people come into the room, they're gonna ask me questions, right? If there's someone who's bringing desserts, they're gonna ask me where the dessert's going. If there's a DJ, the DJ's gonna come and ask me where to set up, right? If there's a caterer, they're gonna say, where do I set up? So that's the reason why I reached out to my client so that I would be prepared if there was gonna be anybody else showing up, right? And my client said, nope, there wasn't gonna be anybody else. There was just gonna be food that was gonna be dropped off um, and set up in another room, right? So for this event, I had three hours to set up, three hours. And all I was providing was that balloon backdrop and I was putting tablecloths on the table and the centerpieces. So that was plenty of time. And because I had plenty of time, I was actually going to blow up some extra balloons for my client and do a really beautiful balloon display, right? But what ended up happening when I got to the venue, it was locked. The door was locked and I could not get in. So I had to call my client and I had to let her know, hey, I'm at the venue, but I can't get in. So I ended up waiting and waiting and waiting, right? And what we found out was that we couldn't get into the venue for a whole nother hour, okay? So I got there at 11 o'clock in the morning, ready to set up. I was like, yes, this is gonna be a quick and easy setup. But we found out from the manager at the venue that we were not gonna be able to get in until 12. So my client was such a sweetheart. She kept apologizing and apologizing. She had her family members there. She told me that they were gonna help me, you know, unload. Like she was just trying to offer to help to remedy the situation. And I completely understand, you know, mix-ups happen, right? Mix-ups happen when it comes to the event. So at 12, we ended up unloading, right? And then getting into the venue. And sure enough, I was setting up and, you know, my mom was doing the tables. My son was setting up the dessert table. I was setting up the balloon backdrop. Like we were moving it. Then my client leaves to go get dressed. And there was other people there, right? I didn't know who these people were. I'm just assuming that those were my client's family members. And so one of them comes up to me to tell me that she had ordered some throne chairs to put in front of the balloon backdrop. So I had to politely tell her that there was no room for those throne chairs in front of my balloon backdrop because I had already designed the balloon backdrop, right? I had already planned on putting my love seat in front of the balloon backdrop for my client to sit in. So I'm like, you know, unfortunately, there's nowhere for me to put those throne chairs. So yeah. I'm not sure, you know, who that was that ordered those throne chairs, but my client did not know that she was ordering throne chairs. So here's the biggest tip, the biggest lesson learned that I can give you. You want to make sure that you are prepping as much as possible when it comes to your events. Thank goodness all of my balloons were blown up. 
All of my five inch balloons were connected, right? All of my backdrops were ready to go. So even though I lost an hour of setup time, I was still able to set up everything on time because I had prepped so much, okay? And then also another lesson learned, guys, when it comes to this event, you know, I get that mothers, right, when their child is having a baby and they're having a baby shower, I get that they want to help out with the baby shower. I get that they want to help out with the decorations. Or sometimes it's not the mom. Sometimes it's the aunt, right, or the best friend or just someone, right? I get that people want to help out with the decorations. But the thing is, they have to communicate, right? Like, with my events, I like for every single thing to be coordinated from the welcome sign to the backdrop to the centerpieces to the tablecloths to all of the accents that are going to be around the room, all of the decorative accents, right? So for me, I'm like, I just, I just want people to communicate with me before they just decide, you know, to bring decorations. A lot of times people end up spending money that they don't even need to spend, right? Because they haven't been in the loop of communication, so they don't know what I'm providing. So they just take it upon themselves and order decorations or provide decorations. And then they don't realize that I'm already doing that, right? So they don't have to spend that money. So yeah, so... Please make sure you're prepping as much as possible when it comes to events. There's always something that comes up, right? There's always some delay. There's always some mix up. There's always something. And then also just be prepared. Be prepared, especially if you're doing this as a business. Be prepared for someone to maybe bring some decorations that you weren't anticipating. All right, guys. So I hope I was not rambling because I feel like... I started to just vent to you guys. <laughs> I feel like I was just venting at the end to tell you, you know, what I go through and what I went through at this event. So I hope that I wasn't rambling and that you guys understood what I was saying. I'm going to put the links for all of the materials that I use in the description of this video. Please keep in mind, because I always get this question, I did not make those wooden arches. I did not make my wooden backdrops that you see me painting. I actually purchased those from a vendor in my area. So if you're in the DMV area, just send me um, a message on Instagram and then I will forward you his information, okay? You have to be on Instagram because that's how I order my stuff from him, okay? I don't have any other way to contact him or connect with him, all right? So I'm going to put all the materials in the description of this video. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.